means we are joined by Lexi from the Capital Area Humane Society for Take Me Home Tuesday. And we got a furry friend that is looking for a home. Who is this little guy? This is Mars. He is the sweetest man. He is. <laughs> Yeah, I know. We're looking. Yes. Um, he's about 12 years old. So okay. He's one of our seniors, um, but he's still got lots of love to give. He's super snuggly, mm -hmm. loves to just be by people. Um, he's been spending the last couple of days um, taking turns in can. different staff members' offices, oh. getting snacks, oh. um, getting love and attention. He just really wants just family where he's going to be able to get that one-on-one -on -one attention. Yeah, so talk a little bit about, you know, the positives of adopting a senior dog. You know, we don't want to call them old because we all of us are getting older day by day, and this guy is so cute. But yeah, talk a little bit about, and the differences that you come across with uh, of, of adopting a senior dog. Yeah, so he's definitely a lot more mellow than some mm -hmm. of our younger dogs. Um, he's just pretty, been pretty chill, just kind of sitting around. Um, he uh, has a lot more training than maybe a puppy would. Um, he is walks on a leash. He's housebroken. He rides in the car really well. He's got lots of those, you know, training things down pat. Yes. He is just ready to come home and just get situated. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. And he is. I can tell you right now, he's so, so lovable, just petting him and just feeling that attention and that love with him. And, you know, I know sometimes with certain dogs in the shelter, you're able to kind of foster them for a few weeks yeah. before officially yeah. adopting. So we have a test drive program where you can come in and if you're interested in um, bringing a new dog, um, typically it's going to be an adult dog into mm -hmm. your home, um, but you're not quite sure. Um, you know, if it's going to be a good fit for you and your family, we can talk to you about a test drive where you mm -hmm. bring them home to foster, see if it's a good fit, and then you'd be able to complete that adoption. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little different than our traditional foster program where the intent for that is for the animals to then go up for adoption. So this would just be a good way to make sure that it is a good fit for your family. Yeah. So if you were interested in taking Mr. Mars home, seeing if he's going to be a good fit. <laughs> um, that's something you can discuss with our adoption staff. Perfect. And they can talk through all of that stuff and, and talk about too, what makes a good home for a senior dog too, yeah. um, as well. So, and you guys are so good at communicating over there. And speaking of communicating or speaking, there's a little bit of a speak slash bark easy going on for your biggest, one of your biggest fundraisers of the year in April. What's going on there? Yeah. So April 26th is our annual for Ball gala. This year's theme is the bark easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's our largest fundraiser of the year. We're so excited. Staff are mm -hmm. um, right now out getting ready for that event. Um, so it's coming up sooner than you think. There are limited tickets left. Okay. So if you are interested in attending, we would recommend going on our website, checking out that information, and getting your tickets as soon as you can, mm -hmm. um, because we do know that event does fill on sell out. Right. Well, because it is, it's the talk of the town. It is the most fun <laughs> event of the year. That's right. Well, thank you so much, Lexi, for coming in. And thank you, Mars, for being here, too. He's been such a good boy. Please bring him a good home in his golden years of his life. So thanks again, guys. Absolutely. All right. Well,